Hi, this is Mr. Reguino, and this is a, a brief tutorial video on how to execute uh, my HMH into reading uh, PowerPoints. Okay, so when you download it from Teachers Pay Teachers, you're going to see that the folder is zipped up. It has a little zipper right here. That means it was contracted to me be a smaller folder so that it was easier to upload and download. In order for you to execute it and run it, and have the links work properly, you need to extract it back to the normal size. So you put your mouse on it, right click, and click Extract All. Pick whatever location you want. I'm just going to leave the default over here, OK? And click Extract. Once you extract it, you're going to see that now there's a folder here that is not zipped up. That's the one you want to execute. So I'm going to open it up. And you're going to see this, by the way, this is an example of module one, week one. OK, it's the first, the first week of the curriculum. So these are all the folders, all the PowerPoint folders that you have downloaded that, that come within this um, lesson. The anchor charts and the genres are really great for you to print and laminate if you want to use for um, your wall. Um, the dictation test, this, this test I do at the end of the week to test my spelling, my student's spelling. Um, grammar, this is part of the, um, writer, the writer's workshop book that come with the program. Um, high frequency words are for the students to read. Uh, lesson. Lesson is the main one that you want to execute. You can run any one of these individually, but lesson is the main one that starts the lesson. So I'm going to double click on it. And you're going to see that this lesson PowerPoint alone is 90 slides. OK, so just go to slide. Start from here. OK, and you're going to see the essential question for the for the module. All right. So click enter. And whatever lesson you're on, if it's lesson one, I usually do five days a week. So Monday will be lesson one, Tuesday, lesson two, three, uh, Wednesday, lesson three, Thursday, lesson four, and then lesson five would be Friday. So I'm going to click on lesson one. It's going to go to lesson one. Then I open up the daily objectives and I go over the objectives that I'm going to teach my class uh, for today, for this lesson. And again, I get this from the teacher's edition. After I go over lesson one, I can skip through it, continue to enter, or I can just hit escape and go back to the main lesson. Okay. Then we go here. This is the module launch. You'll have a module launch for every first week of each module. It's going over the concept of the module. OK, you're going to have some um, questions to, to start off your unit. Um, then you have the big idea words, where these will be vocabulary words that go with the whole unit. OK, so you have friendship, you have emotions. And here you're going to see that when you have friendship with someone, you like the person. It, each, each word will have a definition and um, using it in the sentence. OK, again, I'm going to escape, go back to here. OK, now you have the get your email, which will start automatically. OK, I'm going to there now. That's the video that, that goes with the lesson. Oops, I escaped and I didn't want to escape. I just wanted you to see that there's going to be two different pictures for the sound. The, the sound file will start automatically. And then I do use this here to teach my first graders how to write properly. I use the arrows, how to write the letters properly so that they can practice. Now at school, I use my whiteboard and I write it on the board. Uh, if you're doing it through Zoom or online, um, it, it's not something that you can use. But you, again, you can still show them how to do it. Okay. So I'm going to continue here. And you're going to see you got A, then you have the 
and you have all the different sounds from this week alone. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through that. Then you have the high frequency words. This link will click to the, other, the high frequency word PowerPoint. And what I do in my class is they read it and then they clap out the word. Now to increase their vocabulary, what I did is some slides, I have antonyms or, or synonyms for the words. Um, and so that it, it'll enable them to learn more words than just the high frequency words. Again, I'm gonna fast forward through it, escape, or go back. Show, then I show the picture cards here, picture cards for each lesson. Again, for lesson one, you click on one and you're gonna see the words, the picture cards that come with the unit um, that go with it. And then when I get to lesson two, I'm just gonna hit escape, okay? Escape and go back to here again. Then this is where I start with my phonics. Listen as I say this word, s at, sat. And now I have a little hint here that teaches the kids that when uh, the A is the, short, uh, the only vowel in the word, it usually stands for a short vowel sound. So now we're gonna segment and blend. M, mm, a, g, mag. At, at, p, a, n, an. Okay, so that's the phonics. I'm going to escape out of this. Ah, I didn't want to do that. And here, I should not have hit escape. I should have just skipped through it. This here is a link to a video, a YouTube video on the short A sound. This phonemic awareness, again, this is from the lesson. Words to read, the short A sound opens up a different file, and you're going to see that all the words have the short A sound. They have pictures, they have synonyms, they have antonyms. Okay, I'm going to escape to go back to the main lesson. This comes with the program to read. So, what we do is we choral read it am, tam, bam, sam, sat, and so forth. Sentences to read. Each day is going to have different sentences to read. So you read this again chorally, or sometimes I pick on individual students to read the sentence for me, and then I have the class read it again. So again, lesson one, lesson two, you're going to see is a different color. Lesson three is a different color. I'm going to escape here. Story structure. This is before you go into your reading, and it teaches you about the story. Okay, about the story. This is one of the anchor charts. Um, that you can print and laminate with the legal size paper. Escape. Going over again, story structure and how it teaches them beginning, middle, and end. These are some slides I, I just created for my class. Then you go over to genre. In each story, you're going to have a genre poster. Okay, realistic fiction. Again, you can print it, laminate it, put it up on your board uh, with legal size paper. I'm going to escape. This is the story for the first day. Okay, you could read this with, to your class or have somebody read it if they feel comfortable reading it. You can use this um, graphic organizer to model for, for your students how to write events beginning, middle, and end with ordered events. Then you have grammar. Grammar, you click on grammar, you're going to go on to your, uh, it's going to call the grammar PowerPoint. And in the grammar PowerPoint, you're gonna see that there's a grammar jammer. It's a song that goes with it and teaches them about it. Again, this is a link to um, a YouTube noun song. I have the different lessons. I'm gonna to go to lesson one and teaches them a little bit about it. Now here in this particular model example, I call another PowerPoint and you're gonna see that it's gonna teach them to do examples and the interaction that the kids love. Okay, I'm gonna escape out of here. I'm gonna escape out of the grammar PowerPoint. And here, what I do in my class is I click, a, I, I add a link here to go over my students' homework for the day. So I would normally click here and it's gonna open up their homework uh, folder that, that I created for them separately. Uh, you could do the same thing. We model it, I model it for them, I preview it with them so that they know what they're gonna do for homework. And then I send my students off to small groups. Okay, so that's the end of lesson one. So when you go to lesson two, when you start, you go to the next day. Again, you can start from here. 
speak again about the essential question. So now this is Tuesday, lesson two. You click on lesson two. And again, go over the objectives for lesson two. Lesson two objectives, escape, and so forth. And this is how you do it. Okay? So I'm glad. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful that you bought this. I hope you really enjoy it with your teaching your class with it. I think you will find it very helpful. This is just an example of one week. There are a total of 12 modules and three weeks each module. So there'd be 36 different weekly lessons. I uh, plan on putting them all on Teachers Pay Teachers and hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.